Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of You Journeys and I am your host Palesa Ramafola. You Journeys is a series that focuses on the success stories and the testimonials of UJ students and alumni. Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of You Journeys. It is me, your host, Palesa Ramafola, and I'm coming to you from the JBS Park Studios and I have with us here one of our very own, our refined gem from the UJ Choir, Sizwe Montlane. How are you, Sizwe? I'm well, how are you, Palesa? I am good. I am good. Thank you so much for joining us here on You Journeys. We are so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to be here. Your first episode. Yes, the very first episode. You are our debut. We are debuting with you. I love it for us. <laughs> so let's just get right into, you know, the gist of everything. I have heard everything you've had to tell me. I'm intrigued and I would love to know more. And I know they would love to know more as well. So, you know, we usually see you performing with the UJ Choir and, you know, as the director, the conductor, or even as you never know you never know which part of Sizwe you're gonna get but you know for those who don't know do you mind telling us who is Sizwe? Mm. Uh, Sizwe Mundlane is a choir conductor and musician um, I've been with the University of Johannesburg choir for about 10 years started off as a tenor in the choir for a few years and then moved to student assistant for admin then became the administrative manager of the choir and then became the conductor uh, well co-conductor in this case mm. so we have been with the choir for a while mm. yeah he is the team <laughs> he is behind the scenes but like you are the team actually if, if, if i were to tell you a lot of people always fight me because i can't delicate i want to do everything myself i will do the marketing i will want to do the social media i will want to do the album producing all of these things so I've, I've learned to grow and let go, but I am yeah. the team. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So tell me, how did you get into this music career? Um, I actually studied accounting at UJ, um, but I, I knew that I could sing because I was part of um, a lot of performing societies. Uh, I also auditioned for the choir because I could sing. And But as I was in the choir, it just was a merge of passion and love and destiny for me um, because I actually could not read music um, I could just sing but from my time being with UJ Choir I grew and I learned how to read music and then I decided well this is actually what I want to do with my life and I branched out um, took courses um, researched learned listened to a whole new um, array of genres actually and that informed actually my I don't know expertise if you can call him that because uh, the senior choir master uh, who just retired was my mentor oh, so she wow. told me everything that I knew Renette and um, she told me everything that I knew and I I just wanted to know more I asked her every time okay what does this do okay why do we do that why did you do that there and she was so giving in that information and it literally helped me to take this path. How do you know you knew how to sing? Is that from the ear or oh, this guy can sing? Like how did you ever get to that point where you decided mm, curiosity to learn more? I can sing, let me get there. How did you know? Um, I think like a lot of people, you start singing in church and then it's like no the choir is just like starting and then they're like you come here I heard something mm, and then okay. they form this choir and then that's how I knew it okay maybe then I can sing because mm. um, at home I didn't sing much and they didn't tell me that you can sing okay. they just heard that I joined the Sunday school choir or the youth choir and I started singing there and that's that's just how it's been oh wow so what Cesar is saying is go out there okay go and sing because you never really know what's in the what's in the pond unless you go fishing right True. True. exactly curiosity never killed the cat 
the cat stands here and you know the cat was actually filming sounds of democracy so do you mind telling us of sounds of democracy do you have a favorite piece or you know sound that you love performing like this is your top two not number two you love performing uh okay well sounds of democracy was actually the concert to celebrate our 30 years of democracy in the country mm -hmm. um so we just put together a repertoire of our own music um that we perform for 2024 okay. and made a concert out of it. But actually, the work Echoes of Heritage is the one that was released through an album. Mm -hmm. And from that, we performed some of the pieces at Sounds of Democracy. And from Echoes of Heritage, um, I don't have a favorite. It's like, it's like asking what, what a parent what their favorite, favorite child, child <laughs> who their favorite child is, you know? I mean... Um, I think her... From Keko Kakarelani and Ramakori. Okay. Those are my favorites. Yeah. Oh, kids. there's Butu. Three. The triplets. The triplets. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They came at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> and that's that's my favorite, I think. And so from you know that that bucket of wisdom that you have, what would you say a piece of advice from all you've gathered and seen along the years, the days, the weeks? What piece of advice would you give to, you know, the newest members of the UJ choir? Um for the people who are already in the UJ Choir, they always know that there's only one way, and that's the right way, mm -hmm. to sing. Um, a note is a note. If it's there, it's there. You can't sing it anywhere around it. So for me, that's how they know. And for people who are hoping or want to join the UJ Choir, um, sometimes you don't know if you can sing, but there's no harm in finding out. So do come audition. Um, the audition song is Silent Night, the Christmas Carol, and we will tell you if you can or cannot sing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is definitely a process and I would say steps you guys follow for those interested who perhaps want to join the choir. Is it just auditions or is there another, you know, stream that you guys take for those interested and how do they find you guys? So um, our auditions happen every year and we usually post it on our social media for the dates. But what happens is that you have to send a WhatsApp voice note um, singing Silent Night and then from there we either say yes or no and then if you say yes you get invited to an in-person audition you still sing silent night but in that audition we um do a little i don't know musical tests just to find out how well you can hear okay. more than anything um your voice it can be your voice but we we are more interested in how you listen and how well you can hear because if you can hear then you can hear what i teach you and mm. then we can work with you more yo the pressure mm. the standards it's, it's above, it's above average. But anyway, you know, this is a professional choir after all. They are definitely benchmarks that they obviously have in place. I mean, you are the benchmark, you know. He's been in the choir for 10 years, whether he was admin or singing or social media. And that is so amazing. I mean, that is so amazing. Okay. And I just want to say thank you once again, you know, for joining us today and just sharing from your expertise and your wisdom. You know, we learned so much. I know I did. Yeah. I am, I think, a bit qualified to sit on the panel and audition the next batch of UJ Choir 2025. <laughs> thank you. Um, I will wait for my invitation. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Cool. And again, thank you so much for just, you know, being with us here on UJ Journeys. And guys, if you are ready for the next episode do let us know in the comment section we look forward to having more success stories like our very own superstar choir master admin and social media yeah, yeah, yeah. Sizwe, <laughs> the choir director of uj choir